All right, welcome. I'm here with this Mustang Mayor Warda, and uh, she's had a week off. I was gone for a week, which I don't do very much, but I was. And today's the first day that I've worked with her since I was gone. And before I left, I went ahead and took the halter off of her. I had, le I had been leaving it on because she was so head shy and so hard to, to deal with that I hadn't been taking the halter off of her, but I did while I was gone. So now my first task is to see how difficult it is going to be to get the halter on her. Um, so I'm going to start off, I'm going to give her a little treat here. And I'm really, I think, making some progress with her, especially in building a relationship and building some trust. I'm seeing something that I think is a really key just by looking at her inner eyes. If her eyes are starting to soften, which they are, she's a lot softer when I come, when I approach her and just mess with her. She shows me that she's not nearly as bothered as she used to be, and that's a pretty big deal to get that horse where they're, they're not bothered by you being around them and whatever it is they are afraid that you might be going to do to them. So let me get her over here where hopefully you can see and uh, see what we can do to getting this halter on. First thing I'm going to do is get her to get off my halter because she's stepping on it. There, thank you. Um, is I'm just going to do, it's kind of a, I'm just kind of trying to plan this here. I'm, this is kind of called a, like a war bridle. It's not exactly since I didn't loop it, but um, where you just kept capture their nose that way with a horse that's really trained and you shouldn't have to do that. You should just be able to put the halter on her. But with her, and I can't drop her head, that's another later on. And you can see she's being fussy about her ears, which doesn't surprise me. Okay, so now let's see what we can do. Here's the halter. And I'd like to do it just like I would with any old regular old broke horse. We'll see what happens. Let me just see what she's going to do when she sees it there. See her getting all nervous about it. And, you know, I don't even know. We don't know what all of her history is and what all's happened to her in her life that makes her this way. But I'm just going to do this kind of slow. Doesn't have to happen all at once. Take it away. There we go. Bring it in. Take it away. And if I'm able to get this on without too much muss and fuss, then I'll take it off every night and we'll make this part of our daily routine. Okay, so see there, there. And now, she, now that she took that, then I'm just going to take it away. Okay, anytime a horse is afraid of something, approach and retreat. There, that's pretty nice. Okay, so this is actually going a little better than I thought it would. All right, put it on and I'm going to take it off, okay? Because I'd like to be able to put it on and take it off every day. Um, and in a previous video, I was attempting to put a snaffle bit on her and did not succeed. I did succeed a, a, a few days after that, and I left that bit in her mouth for about five seconds, and then I took it out, and that was it. So I will probably try it again here in just a few minutes, okay? So there we go. Uh, once I lost her nose... That's what I thought might happen. Once I lost her nose, I lost her. Okay. All right. There. Okay. So that's a little ugly. Um, and she's getting a little close. Sorry, I'm working without a cameraman here today. She's getting, that's a little ugly. So I'm going to try to just move it in and off, off in her, her nose a few times. Try to get her to just kind of be okay with that. There we go, babe. Okay, now I'm going to give her a treat. And while she's eating that treat, I'm going to go off and on her nose there. Try not to lose her nose. Okay, there we go. And then I should be able to just tie it normally. For the most part, that was the way you would do it with a normal horse. Um, and soon, I want to try to start teaching her to drop her head. Um, once she gets a little better about just letting me hold my hand there, I think I'm going to just try it a little bit here. Okay, that's really the first time I've even tried it, and I'm getting a lot of resistance. Um, this is going to be a process with her, 
but I will do it if I, you know, if, it, if I can get it done. Okay, right there. So she dropped her head. No, don't walk off on me, babe. Stay right there. Even if she drops her head accidentally, I'm going to reward it. Right there. Okay. And I just put my hand right between their ears and just press with my uh, finger and my, or my middle finger and my thumb right here. Okay. I'm not going to reward that head shake. I'm going to ask her to drop it just a little. There we go. I got about a half an inch. And she dropped it down. I'm going to... Oh, oh. So, you know, I was trying to remember. It's either four weeks or five weeks that I've worked with this mare. There we go. There. Okay. Uh, yep. See, I don't want to... With her, she's different than a normal horse. I would reward that, but with her, that's, that's an evasion. There we go. That was better. So this is really ugly. I'm kind of glad I'm catching it on camera for you to see how ugly it is. Right there, she's getting me a little bit. And she's going to fight me a little bit. There, okay. Try to walk off. There, good girl. All right, so that isn't much. Uh, I'll work on it a little bit every day like I do with everything else with this mare. And I think we'll, we'll get there eventually. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take her out in the round pen and start doing some saddle prep work.